Hi. So today we'll be doing a let's eat and talk, but a let's drink and talk. So it's a special edition because we have a special guest today, and he is Zayden. Hi. Before we start anything at all, let's take a shot of this soju because you know my dear. Zayden here is really awkward in front of the camera. Maybe <laughs> with alcohol, it will help him get better. Cheers. Just this, just one shot. So before we move on to the rest of the video, I would like to introduce Zayden first. Previously, he's known as my friend, but now he's known as my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked all of you to ask two of us some questions on Insta Story, and we received quite a number of them. We hope we can, you know, answer most of them today. So are we answering this honestly or? Of course, you have to be honest, lah. Okay. Okay. My channel is okay. a very honest channel, you know. Okay, let's quickly move on to the question. So first question is, how did you and Zayden get together? How did we get together? We just you... like each other and then we get together lah. Yeah, it's like that. Oh. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> how did y'all get together? How did Zayden ask you to be his girlfriend? Oh, okay. It, I, it, I feel like it's a gradual process. Yeah. It's not a sudden like, you know what, I like you. Shall we get together? It's not like that. Yeah. It's like slowly you realize and then you just feel like yeah, we are getting into this whole action. Uh, fun action. <laughs> yeah, and then just like we really dated for a while before he actually asked me to be his girlfriend. He asked me in the car on Christmas. <laughs> and he had this very badly wrapped present. <laughs> like yes. three badly wrapped presents. Like for some freaking reason, right? I cannot use... wrap presents for nuts. No, that's not the problem. Uh, the problem is Right. You can use normal wrapping paper, but you cannot find wrapping paper. Then you can use bank card. No, 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 no. It's not. I don't like normal wrapping paper. I think normal wrapping paper are lame. Then why you must use bank card sheet? It's like so hard. Because you know, I wanted like a plain like box that can fit the the present perfectly. But, no, but like, you end up your bank card sheet. That's so hard. Yeah, yeah. Because it's hard, so it's like a box that fits perfectly. But you know, like sometimes things it's just so don't like always that. you know go so all that well. You know. Use Vanguard sheet and masking tape. <laughs> so the first present was his old t-shirt. And then I didn't know how to react. So I just thought, okay, maybe he <laughs> meant it like in a romantic way to give me his old shirt. Then I just like, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. But she didn't know that was the decoy. Okay, that was the decoy. Then the second yeah. gift was alpaca mat with alpaca socks. Yeah. Yeah, you don't remember. I remember. Okay, ah. yeah, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. And then the third gift was a uh, Swarovski bracelet. Yes. Yeah, but before I opened the present, he wrote down what the <laughs> mega shit. He wrote down like, will you be my girlfriend? Like, yeah, yes or no? Yeah. And You're... I think no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yes. how we got here. <laughs> okay, the next question is, how did y'all meet and how old is Zayden this year? So another question is similar to this, is like how big is our age gap? Right. So I don't know, is it you look very old and I look very <laughs> young? Because people are really curious, like what's your age gap? Okay, our age gap is three years. The rest yes. you can figure out yourself. Like yeah. I'm 12 and he's 15. Damn. But yeah, when I was talking, just made that highly <laughs> illegal. How did y'all meet? Okay, so like we first met, I think it was like at the GGC concert, the Esplanade one. Oh. That was the first time that yeah, I met yeah. you. That yeah. Dope, yeah, yeah. So we met each other then. So we already yeah. acknowledged our presence, each other's presence. Yeah. Um, you took a picture with me at our Man premiere. Yes. <laughs> Can I ask me for a photo? Yeah, guys, just. Just let it be, you know? In the truth! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like we got talk but we are not close lah. Like we just don't hang out that much. Yeah. But we hang out often is with Noah. Yeah, you know me before you know Noah. That's why. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes. How yes. do you meet with each other despite your busy schedules? This is a very important question actually. Because he's very, very busy. Yes. My timing is more flexible because I work for myself. I think it got better nowadays. Everything comes with understanding. If two people don't have the same goal, right? It's very hard to do it no matter what. Like, let's say if you meet like three times a week. To some couples, it's not enough. To some couples, it's more than enough. So I think it's also like getting on the same page in terms of like understanding. Yeah, I think you need to lay out everything clearly first and then have that mutual understanding on when you can meet and when you cannot. And once you have that understanding, it's easier to work things out, I guess. How did y'all get together after knowing each other as friends for years? A lot of people want to know like how did we transition from friends, like mm. being good friends, to actually being in a relationship. To them, it's like very crazy. Actually, it's also a very crazy idea to me. Yeah, actually even to me also. <laughs> I feel like there is definitely still that awkward transition that he finds it very hard to call me baby at first. <laughs> <laughs> there is this shy transition period, la, I would say. Right, right. Definitely. But it was quite short, I think. It was very short. It's like yeah. we managed to transition quite fast. But it, how, it's, how, hard, it's hard to. I think a lot of guys just want to know how do you escape the friend zone? <laughs> <laughs> 
This is this will be another video. It's a very long video, yeah. but I'll teach it's you a very technical. One. It's a very technical video. If you want to, you can subscribe my course on the link below. <laughs> it's so hard to explain this because like even for for us, it's something that I think we never experienced before. So it's just along the way as you get to know each other, like uh, the attraction gets more and more. You're attracted to the personality more. I think there's a lot, a lot of different factors that you like get to know after like being friends. Yeah. Yeah, I Actually, I really don't know how to explain this. Okay, the next question is How you guys view silent treatment during fights? Wow, let, let me take a shot first. Wanna take a shot? Yes, let me <laughs> take a shot. Okay, so unfortunately, <laughs> like when I feel unhappy about something, I will get very quiet. And then he will just keep asking. Like, like he can feel that I'm unhappy, so he'll keep asking, like, what's going on? What's going on? Then I'll just be like, is that considered silent treatment? I don't know. But I will still answer you, lah, but I just don't really like saying anything much. When you get upset, you. you I get a bit quiet. Okay, yeah, a bit too quiet, you know? I like to like talk, express that emotion. Okay, so the thing, the difference between us when we are fighting, right, is that you are very logical and you are very like vocal. On the other hand, I'm a very emotional person. So like when I am in a fight, I cry first. <laughs> and then I just yeah. cannot talk. I must calm down first before I can talk. So nowadays, the way I deal with it is, in order not to cry, I will just not talk. Mm. And then on him, on the other hand, he'll just be like, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, yeah. what's going on, what's going because on. Yeah, yeah, and it frustrates me more because I'm very emotional. So I'm like, I don't want to deal with this now because I know whatever you say is going to make me cry. I agree that silent treatment sucks because if he's upset and he don't want to talk to me, then it's going to upset me more also lah. I guess we have formed a mutual understanding that like, <laughs> <laughs> when I'm upset, I just need some time to cool down before I can talk. Yeah. Or the other way is just like give in or whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. You don't even give talk. in. <laughs> we never give in. Okay, okay, we okay, eventually okay. just okay. talk about it. Hey! Okay, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you may need some time to calm down before you actually talk. Because yeah. there are people who are way too emotional like me. And you just have to like chill used, a little bit. Get used to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the next question is who confessed first? Remember right? Just tell me what you remember. Is it from the club? It's not club. Then? What club? Then where was it? What club? When we went to the club. Which club? The uh, the one at the rooftop. Why that club? Why? Because you said I was drunk. No, it's not. Then? We were already dating then. Do you mean that we were not dating then? We were, we were. But I don't know which one I don't know. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like after this um, media event night, we took a cab together back to your house. And then he was kind of like more drunk than me. So at your house, I was like, how much do you like me? Do you remember? No. God, you're like, oh, I got cheated into this whole situation right now. How to get over a guy or girl? The best way is to distract yourself. Just, just do something that you like. Spend more time with yourself. I mean, it's hard not to think about it. You cannot consciously tell yourself not to think about it. I think the most important thing is to not spiral into that thought. Like, I don't think it's just like, don't think about it. Don't spiral into negative thoughts. I think it's hard to like, forget a lot of things that happen. Maybe you had memories with your ex, you know, like you cannot just block them out something. Yeah. I think it's just more of like, just have that time to yourself. I think the first step to this, right, is to actually accept the fact that, yes, I'm going to mm. move on and get over this. When you think about that, you just kind of have to tell yourself to stop and then like, move on and do something that you like. Yeah. And then after a while, it kind of trains your mind to like, stop thinking about it. Okay, the next question. Question is, does the both of you secretly find Noah a big tian teng pao, a light bulb, before you both officially got together? <laughs> okay, honestly, honestly, yeah. Of course not, lah, because he's yeah. our friend, ma. It's yeah. like we're already used to have him with us. It's like three of us are just like. I think it's like <laughs> our dynamics with him never change. Like how I feel about him never change. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's, it's just exactly that our dynamics change. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. What I can say for myself is I enjoy having him around, even though uh, he's quite an irritating person. Yeah, he's irritating, but he keeps the bond stronger for some reason. He's like a glue. He's like super glue. He's a glue. You know, someone super glue, right? He gets quite annoying. Like it gets all over the place. Yeah, but sometimes it's good like, to have it in your life. But then you, you know? need it sometimes. You never know when you need glue. You know. Yeah. But I just want to let you all know, right? On the very first Valentine's Day that I hang out with him, no one joined us. <laughs> we had to specially pick him up from his house, and the three of us went out for yeah. a date on Valentine's Day. Yeah. How did Noah react to both of your relationships? So actually, the first time I actually sat down with Noah, it was in his room at his house. So I sat him down. I'm like, actually, Noah, I really have to tell you something, and he's very serious. Just want to let you know that, like, me and Zayden is kind of like dating. Then he's like, no! I don't know why he does that with you, but he has never done that to me. 
We even did it on Zoom. Like we had a Zoom call, and then three of us. Uh. And then we said it, but we broke it. We mm. broke the news to him. And then he's like, no, why? Mm. Yeah, but actually deep down, he really wants us to be together forever. Yeah. What would your advice be if my boyfriend's family strongly disapproves of our relationship? Actually, I've never been through this kind of situation before. And I actually I cannot know. imagine how it's going to be like. I've never been through that, but what I feel is perseverance. At the end of the day, there's no need to try too hard to please anybody. Uh -huh. And like, if you all really like each other, I think you all would like just be responsible and then just, just hold on to the relationship. Because people outside the relationship shouldn't have a say unless you are way too young. It's just be responsible. You know, don't do anything stupid. Everybody go through different types of tests in a relationship and this could be your test. Okay, so the final question is, how do you all split the bills when you go on date? Is it every time AA? or guy treat or see mood. I think a lot of people also ask this question mm. inside. Like, they want to know, is it normal for the guys to pay every single meal? Most of the time, he'll pay for the meals. La. But then like, I will also <laughs> offer to pay for the meals. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, uh, of course, m most of the time, like, you know, when we go out, uh, I'll pay. But of course, there are times where, uh, I pay also. She pay also. And sometimes we just try to balance out like, you know, like if I buy dinner, then let's say there's a movie, then, you know. Pay for movies. Yeah. And then pay for snacks. Yeah, even though most of the time I pay lah, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think regarding this topic, right, I think the most important thing is the couple have to check their financial situation. Yeah. Let's say like both of you are students, right? And then it's hard for the guy to pay for everything. Be, pay for, be paying for everything. Like for, for us, it's like we're really working. That's why it really depends on the dynamic of the relationship. Mm. You know, like if your girlfriend is not working, then you know, pay for her like, I think it's support. Yeah, I think also just don't expect the other party to pay every time. Maybe you can offer it sometimes. Like don't make it a point that you think this person will always, always, always like, yeah, pay yeah. for the bills. In order not to, you know, have any kind of problems, split the bill or you know, just ask. Just ask. Okay, so that was the final question for today. I think we have a lot, a lot more questions to answer. Maybe we can do a part two next time. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. I hope all of you enjoyed my special guest, Zayden. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Yep. And see you all very, very soon again. Bye!